what we can do now is start routing. So we hit this interact with route. And all you need to do is start on one pad and then slowly move out. And I can see this trace kind of move out of here. Um, and if I hit tab, I can pick the size of the trace. 0.254 mm. Um, it's, a, it's a standard size. I think that's, is that 10 mil? What is that? Um, 0.254 mil. It's 10 mil. People like 10 mil size. Uh, make sure you look at your manufacturer's web page to figure out um, exactly what their specifications are. So let's say we were ordering from PCB Way, for example, 100 by 100. The minimum track and spacing, so track is the same as a, a trace or so the things we're writing together, is 6 by 6 mil. So 6 minimum, 6 mil track and minimum 6 mil between tracks. So if this is a track and if this is a track, then this could be minimum six and minimum six here. So for us at 10 mil or 0.254 mm, we're, we're still pretty safe. Um, we can increase it just because we don't need our trace to be that small. Um, but these, of course, depend on design rules. So this is its out of the range, so it won't let me. So if I, if I really wanted to make it bigger, what I would do is I'd go to design rules, routing, routing width, I'd be able to change the minimum width here. So um, minimum preferred and maximum. So the default, they're all the same. Maybe I can make the max 1 mm. Top and bottom. Apply. Now when I route, hit tab, I can pick a big one. Now it lets me do 0.3. Which is nice. This to here. Connect this to here. Sort of becomes a game. This to here, um, connect this to here. Just need a trigger to go through. So you can see that 0.3 mm won't go through here just because the rules don't let us fit all the way down. Um, so let me just double check what pin 6 does. Pin 6 is a threshold. So what we could do is consider using a thinner trace and see if it'll fit through. So start here, click, start routing, and then tab. What if we go back to 0.254 mm? Go fit, no. What if we did 0.2? I guess 0.2 is not going to work because of our rules. Change the min width here, 0.2, 2. Let's try that. Deletes, another one, one, two, still no, probably because of our spacing rules, but that's okay. I can connect it to the pad right here. With the point three mm, let's go back to this. And then um, just keep writing. Cool, so those are connected. Discharge needs to connect to discharge. Um, and output needs to come down. So what can we do? What's the best way to do this? I think what's important for us is to connect the power together. So I'm gonna switch these to the bottom layer. Delete this, bring this in a little bit. And we'll use what we call vias. Um, v is basically a little tunnel from the, the top layer to the bottom layer. So if you place one here, we can switch down to the bottom layer. Uh, let's place another one too, in here. Switch down to the bottom layer, route again, and I'll be, we'll be routing in blue. So basically what we've done is we started top, went down to bottom, back up to top, and back to our trigger. See if I can get a little more space here. Cool. It's not bad.
we need to bring the output. So I think it's gonna be a little tough to connect these two fives together through through the the body of the IC. So that's fine. We'll just let the output go through. Um, and we just need the discharge to connect as well. So what we can do is you can either go around like this, around like this, through here in another via. And uh, I think that's a Gonna be a, probably the best option. So what we can do is sort of create some space. If I route again and I can I just click here on the trace, I can just continue. And basically cut out this loop, which is nice. So let me start by going up a little bit, just create a little space, place a via. Oh, actually, I'm going to have to go down through through over this this blue trace, otherwise I'll be stuck underneath. So let's do that. Move this a little bit. Place a via. Get to bottom layer. Get across. Probably go under here. Place another via. Might move it down a little bit, just might be a little too close. Line it up nicely. And then we can switch the top layer and go back up. Those are connected, creating a nice intricate little maze here. Um, we still have five volts to bring in. What else we got? I think that's just five volts in ground. Oh, that's pretty good. 